Okay guys, what's up? Uh, today's an exciting day for me and for all of you, hopefully. Um, so let's take a walk. Um, I have been searching far and wide for this vehicle. Uh, the unicorn, we'll call it. The GOAT, the greatest of all time, of the 100 series Land Cruiser. And I include the LXs in there because it is the greatest spec and the most sought after unicorn that you will never find that you can find and i found one so without further ado let me spin this and look what i found oh yeah yeah you're seeing that right uh this is a 2006 100 series lx 470 as you see in the all sought after cypress pearl this car does have ivory interior. Uh, two owner California car, just got it off the truck a little while ago. Uh, so you know what that undercarriage looks like. It looks brand new. It's a little dirty under there, but I'm gonna get it all uh, jazzed up. So, uh, you know, I've had in 13 years, I think this is my second Cypress car. And wanted to do this video not only because I'm excited about the car. I just got done doing my preliminary kind of inspection, driving it, walking around it, uh, knowing what I'm going to be doing to it. And so I'm excited because uh, this car's got great bones. It's going to need some work inside, outside. Mechanically, we've got some work to do to get this thing where I want it to be to sell it. Uh, and this specific uh, LX is going to go on bring a trailer to be sold. Uh, if you're not familiar, bringatrailer.com. Um, you can go there yourself, do a little research. It's pretty uh, pretty simple to uh, to do though. It's just a um, social online auction for collectible vehicles, and these 100s do really well on there. We've sold quite a few on there. Uh, you can kind of go back through our history and see how we've done those cars in the past. And we're going to do this one the exact same way. So um, mainly this car is going to need a lot of service work that I want to do personally before it goes on bring a trailer. And I'll kind of go over all that in a minute. But wanted to show off what this thing looked like in its raw form. For those of you who have been looking for a 100 regardless of the year uh, but have not, have not bought one yet, this is gonna be a good example of how a almost 20 year old vehicle looks regardless of what it is. So I'll go over that uh, briefly. I'll talk about what we're gonna do. Uh, but again, this is a two owner, two, Utah two. Actually, I think he went like that. Uh, two owner California car, pretty good service history up until this point, but once it, uh, once it gets ready to go live on Bring a Trailer, it's gonna be baselined. So, uh, just a few little things I'll point out here real quick. The paint's in great condition on the car. Uh, our plastic lenses, uh, as you see here, they're all cracked out and whatnot. We'll replace all of those. Luckily, our fog lights, regardless of what year, on the 100 LXs are all glass, so you don't have anything to worry about there. Uh, we're gonna paint this front bumper uh, I know a lot of you have watched some of my older 100 videos in the past and I tend to talk about these wheels and how they can streak when people spray stuff on them that is abrasive and eats through this special effects color that is on these 100 LX's. So let me get in here and show you what it looks like. That is what it looks like. And that's just like you can see drip marks, right? that where when people sprayed whatever they sprayed on here, they kind of drip down the wheels and that's what they look like over time. Uh, most people are not gonna have these fixed. Obviously, we're gonna have these fixed. My guy Mickey has a um, dead match for this special effects color. These wheels will look brand new when I get done with them. We will also have Michelins on there. I'm not keeping these garbage Yokohama Geolanders on here, so. Well, actually, it's Geolanders up here, and I think they are Continentals in the back. But uh, still, there's a great shot of the side of the car. Really, really nice condition. All the claddings look really nice, which is unusual. Again, with the wheels right there, you can see some scrapes here on the bumper. All just kind of normal stuff. You got some scratches going on here. This is what you're going to see on a 20-year-old vehicle. The roof. 
is peeling right here and in the very back right there you can also see the spoiler is peeling as well so we'll have all that uh we'll have mickey jazz all that up it'll it'll be looking nice and good look at this rear wheel it's awful and if you're wondering why there's black there the black is there because that's the base coat before you put on the special effects for the color uh, of these wheels uh, rear bumpers got a little scrape back here we'll get all this fixed up our doors look nice everything looks really nice this is what's nice about this car is that the inside is I mean I literally just got this off the truck a few hours ago <laughs> and this is exactly what it looks like so just for time I'm not gonna pull down the third row seats but you can see everything looks really nice back here and when we get done with it I cannot wait to see this car when it's done because it is gonna uh, it's gonna look awesome there's our wheels again look how nice the seats look A little damage on that door panel over there we'll have to have fixed right here this section so from here to here I'm gonna replace that back of the seats are all in really nice shape door panels look good passenger seat looks awesome I'm gonna save the best for last all this is gonna clean up really really nice so yeah that doesn't look good so uh, I will not be putting some aftermarket vinyl or leather on this I'm gonna be replacing the whole seat cover and it's gonna come from Lexus so um, we'll document all that so that everybody can see that steering wheels in great shape does need to be reconditioned all the materials still there but my point is showing this armrest right here this video kind of like this uh, is this is what a 20 year old vehicle with 170,000 miles looks like. And you know, if, uh, if you're in the market for a 100, you're gonna have to deal with some issues. Um, but again, uh, you know, me being fam as familiar as I am with them and being around them for as long as I have, um, there's nothing on this car that can't be, it needs a light restoration. That's literally what this car needs and that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, let me uh, show my face here a little bit. Mechanically is where this one's really gonna shine. Obviously it's gonna look fantastic when it's done. It's a Cypress car. Um, when they're done and they're done right, not a better spec on a 100 series uh, Land Cruiser, as I said a minute ago, let alone how hard they are to find. Uh, but, you know, preliminary looking, I know the valve covers are leaking on this car, so we're gonna do valve covers, heater tees, uh, timing belt, water pump, crank seal, cam seal. Want to make sure you do your cam seal. Uh, if your cam seal leaks after you do a timing belt, it leaks oil onto the timing belt and you jump timing. See you later. Have fun replacing your engine when you jump timing. So always want to do the cam seal. It's a lot more expensive to do it that route, but you can spend $500 more or you can bend valves on your 4.7 and replace the motor, whichever you wanna do. Um, so again, timing belt, what I say? Valve covers, timing belt, water pump, crank seal, cam seal, serpentine belt, heater tees. Those are all the things I know. We might be doing rear main seal. Um, the radiator has already been replaced. I know we'll do some routine stuff, some flushes, probably flush the active height control. Um, and look into some other things maybe some spark plugs if i don't have any documentation of that but nonetheless this car is going to be baselined if i don't have documentation of it recently being done so when this gets done and it hits bring a trailer it's going to be bulletproof we're going to invest a lot of money in this car and it's going to look fantastic when it's done so i just was excited to get the car today uh, i've been hunting for a cypress car for a very long time including trying to buy the one that I sold years ago from my previous customer and he's he's not still not selling it 
So uh, I was excited, wanted to do a quick video, show you guys uh, this car in its raw state. And we'll do some follow-up videos. I'll have a ton of uh, footage when this thing hits Bring a Trailer. And um, as always, if anybody has any questions before then, feel free to reach out 678-454-6060. Or you can find me at chris at hilsonluxury.com.